Thousands of people have been walking for weeks through Central America with one goal, to arrive to the United States. They want to begin a new life far from their homes, in a future where living a normal life could be possible. Well, the causes are um, many, but um, certainly the uh, poverty is a very important cause. And that poverty is, uh, is itself caused by the uh, activities of multinational corporations in their country. It's also beginning to be caused by climate change. It's caused by uh, poor governance and by corruption. Um, and it is caused, even though you don't call it war, by a level of violence which most of us would consider unacceptable. So the, the causes are um, several. Uh, they are perfectly understandable. And um, everybody who is watching this program would agree that if they and their families faced reasons like this, they would also flee. Father Michael Cerny is one of the people in charge of the migrants and refugees section in the Holy See. He recently visited Mexico when the caravan had just arrived. He assures the church is playing a key role in helping these people who left their homes with only the clothes on their back. In cities like Tijuana, there have been protests against these migrants, yet they don't represent the entire population. What is good to know also is that the bishops of the United States and especially the bishops on the borders are also being as helpful as they can. So it's uh, understandable that a border uh, city which already has many people passing through would, uh, could react when a new group, a large group arrives. The United States announced it will not allow them to enter the country, even describing this migration as an invasion. However, the Vatican assures the solution is to welcome, protect, promote and integrate. Therefore, all their hopes are placed on the next global pacts that will be signed in December in Morocco by the UN countries. I think that uh, if we had more cooperation, we would also have less uh, fear, uh, less confusion and less reactions. So the, the Global Compact is a chance for everybody to make a new start and to uh, take the question uh, calmly but seriously. And on a world scale, the Global Pacts offer great hope. However, on an individual level, each person can offer a lot. This is to first start off by putting oneself in the shoes of those who immigrate. I think the, the, the right thing to do is what the Holy Father says, which is to ask yourself, what can I do? That, that this is not the time to make big plans and have big discussions, but each one can do something. Uh, somebody can help with language lessons, somebody else can have uh, an extra bed, somebody has a spare room, somebody can take uh, a migrant to the doctor or to the dentist or to the hairdresser. Like this, with a little more empathy and closeness, it's possible to welcome these migrants who for the first time have had to enter a country that is not their own.